G'day guys and girls and welcome to my little channel, Goodies Beer Reviews, and I'm pumped for this one. I'll get straight into the beer. Sometimes we do the chat, sometimes we do the beer. This is the beer today. I picked this up from my little Palmer's Island store nearby. It's called from Staves Brewery, The Man from Alaska, Pacific Lager coming in at 4.7 ABV in a 375 ml can. Maybe they're starting to listen to us craft drinkers and not wanting smaller cans. Or just, you know, anything sort of just, yeah, 355s, 325s, 250s. Anyway, I love the can. It reminds me of like Chernobyl or radioactive situations or fallout 4 if you're a bit of a gamer fallout 76 and anyway uh standard drinks it's got a bit of a spiel which i want i might so i might i might read independent brewer from glebe new south wales first job was in glebe or second second job was in glebe uh down there near piermont with pubs around there uh one point Four, help me out. Uh, one point. Yeah, four, I think. I think. Anyway, I'm not going to bang on about that. Look at the bloody can. It's a lager. It's, it's awesome looking. Let's crack it. Let's crack it and get it into the glass. I remember reading on the back, it said medium carbonation, which was interesting, mentioning the, the carbonation level. So, you know, you buy this big flash can from a craft brewer and it's a lager. I think every brewery has to have a lager or a pilsner or an ale that's simple and sessionable and just bloody nice. This is 4.7, so you could session the, the nuts out of this. It's very clear in the glass. It's... Yeah, no, very well not very carbonated carbonated not much head uh even with an aggressive see if there's any kadunka dunks around but i doubt in the lager lagers are very clean aren't they i love the can anyway to the nose we go and let's have a smell i'm about to bang on about the ufc a bit piney pleasant subtle hit hit uh, Hints of fruit. It's just yum. There's just another smell too I can't put my finger on. Unless it's orange. It just tastes like a very pleasant lager. Let's have a sip anyway. Cheers everyone. Cheers to your weekend. As soon as you put it, or you get that mouthful, you do get fruit. This is this is me. It fruity, but when you drink it and it goes down your throat, you have a bitter aftertaste. It's clean, it's refreshing, and it's a lager. That's a bit of a surprise for a lager. I love a lager. I'm not a lager man. I'm a neeper. I'm a fruit bomber. I like the hazies. This is a good lager. It fits the brief. It's very easy to drink. It's very pleasant. It's 4.7. It does what it's supposed to do. The man from Alaska. We'll have a quick read of the back because I want to know what you get out of a lager. So let's just, I'll read this after I have one more uh, gobble. Mmm. All right. Father's stage name as a touring musician. Okay. Like him, this lager is uh, no business. Oh, sorry, no nonsense. God, it's hard on the light out here. Uncomplicated and uh, approachable. It shows notes of tropical fruit. I knew it. 
and I swear to God, I didn't read it. I read one thing about carbonation, and I went, nah, because I could see the bottom. So it shows notable, yeah, see, tropical fruits, white peach, honeydew melon, easy drinking, and light bodied with medium carbonation. I remember I said at the beginning of this view, and I swear to God, I only read when I pulled out the fridge the last line. I wouldn't lie to you. Maybe I'm getting good at this stuff. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. I love that fruit in the beginning and then it going to this pleasant drinking sessionable beer. This is a great beer. Oh, if you bought a carton of that, you'd just, I like it. Only criticism I have on the back end, like when you swallow it, it's got a very uh, rough taste that I can't put my finger on, but it's minimal. Noticing the fruit more, giddy up. Um, I'm really going to call this, I think, up there. Yeah, banger. That's a bloody good beer and a bloody good lager. And I love the can. I love everything about it. Um, it's a banger. The, the, the hint of fruit got me. To do that in a lager, yeah, beautiful. Anyways, I'll have a sip. It's the evening here. Sunset. I've got the lights on outside, so we're doing a bench review. But, mate, the UFC today, the main card, heavyweight title was online for the UFC. My son lives and breathes it. I know a little bit about it, probably to a medium bit. But uh, Jones versus a Citadel Garn. I wanted Garn to win. I don't like John Jones. I think he is now the undisputed goat of the UFC. I think he is, and he has to be. But I'm telling you now, this fight today, and I watched all the prelims, I watched the main card, that choke he had on him and the how quick he tapped. Now, I've been choked before. I've choked people before. Uh, I know a little bit about the sport. He is either... Oh... oh how did he tap out so quick? Come on. Come on, guys and girls. Two seconds? Captain tapped... Like, really? God, that's a good beer. Or is Jones really that good? Coming out of the ring rust for three years. He's good at wrestling. He's a, he's a, he's a, he's a dirty fighter. He is a dirty fighter. And... Um, I'm not going to go, I don't know, look, I don't like the guy, I already said that my, on my, my clip, I don't like him, I don't know who's going to beat him in the heavyweight, I, I think he would have destroyed Nagano, um, Garn I thought had a chance because he's light on his feet and he's matching, the way he's, he fights is a, is a matching, it's a match style, do you know what I mean? But um, I was shocked within two minutes. It wasn't the two minutes. Uh, the, the way of the tap. So uh, I had a great... The son and I, um, we went down and watched it together. We had a great day. We were laughing, stirring each other. You know, I, I had a beer. I had a stone and wood Pacific Ale on tap, which has got a lot cloudier lately. And I'm like, hazy, bring it on. I love it. And I was like, man, a couple of those Stonerwood skewies just were yum. And I did have a JD and Coke in a can and a little seven glass with some ice. I like drinking out of a seven. We're all stuck in our ways. But, you know, you get a beer and a JD can that was 1870, and that's at a club we are the member. It doesn't pay to drink out. 
unless you're doing it for social reasons or and you have a couple of beers. But some of these people that drink at the club every day, oh, how do you afford it? You know, like, pricey. But anyway, I'm going to stop banging on. This was an amazing lager. I am glad I shared it with you guys and girls out there on the net. And I bought this for you guys and girls. Um, I've got a really great big silver can. And I think it's a double dry hopped IPA. That it's imported, I think, from America, maybe. But anyway, we'll see tomorrow. That's the can I'm going to do tomorrow. So I just want to say tonight, have a great night. Love each other. Take care of each other. I love you all. And more important, or not more importantly, but if you do like listening to me, upload regularly and have a yak and have a chill. Put me on in the background. I don't really care. And if you don't, then don't. Just, I don't know. I love the beers. We're going to visit some more. And we love a yarn and a yak. Gaming, UFC, motorbikes. I'm a bit of an all-rounder. I just like anything that's fun. Anyways, I'll leave that with you. And, yeah, love you all. Catch ya.